everybody, gonna try this again. I don't know how well that last one works. I'm still wearing the camera. Best way to do this. This one's gonna have to be short too because my battery's gonna die. Um, so I'm gonna try this again. So I'm in the Normandy section this time. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning of it because I figured out um, the best way to do camera stuff. And I know y'all wanna see this stuff here and not me. So I'm just gonna go flip things around. Hopefully, we get some better views of stuff here. Take a shot of camera over here to get there in a bit. So, this is the World War II section. Part of it, anyway, so it's the later campaign part. So, you have the stuff later. Uh, you have Italy, which I tried to do earlier if I'm learning it, and then Normandy. So Normandy come in and talks about the air power and different elements, the bombing, clearing the channel, mine sweeping, that kind of thing, uh, some different we weapons, FOE kind of thing, uh, the ships, the different ships used to clear the channel. Uh, this is the Haida. And this is uh, Kirby King. Uh, so it's not going yet, um, but they have a kind of reproduction uh, landing craft here. Kind of dark. Can't see so good, but uh, it is here. Uh, they do a video. Uh, maybe I can come back around and we can show you that later. Uh, but I'm sure you've all seen the video before. So again, different stuff. Different quotes, which I like that they do throughout uh, the museum. And here is a, a map. Uh, Chino Beach. So they have different weapons here. Um, German, Canadian. Uh, this is the MG42. It's in a glass case. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, they have a Pac-38. Uh, and then they have the different small arms. Allied and German. These are the Allied guns. German guns like that. Showing the advance from the beaches inland to Calais. Different photos, that kind of thing. Uh, normally you can go here and look at all the armor and guns and stuff, but it's closed because of COVID. But I can do that another time, show you all the different stuff down there when I can come back a different day. So back to the German weapons, the Moaning Mimi, as it was nicknamed. Soldier back here. And then they always have information plaques. And the Pac 38. And the MG 42. And you have a mortar. And then a flat gun. And right next to it, um, 25 pounder shell, which is obviously a Commonwealth gun. So there it is. Iconic. There's a whole bunch of them in the museum all over the country, as I'm sure you know, with the different um, uh, cemeteries and stuff like that, monuments. 
And here's the Sherman that we started with here from the Grenadier Guards. Which is pretty cool. And they have several Shermans here. This one's cool, it actually still has a machine gun in it. Quite rare to still have the coaxial gun in place. Uh, usually they do like dress up stuff, but that's gone because of COVID, obviously. Uh, and here's a suit. You can see very often. And here's a picture of Bradley Walters being um, given his medals by Monty. Now this is one of my favorite new parts of the museum. These are uh, David Kirby's metal set. Um, quite a bit of controversy around them. Um, trying to get them and keeping them in the country. Uh, they're on sale twice. Uh, so here they are. Uh, complete with the Victoria Cross. And obviously, Curry was one of the more um, outstanding leaders of Canada's war, particularly at the at San Lambert. Uh, St. Lambert Sir Neves and closing a flay's pocket. Uh, very well earned is Victoria Cross. And they have just pictures, uh, the iconic pictures uh, of him and the fighting uh, around the pocket and closing the pocket and just the brutal nature of the fighting there. So they cover that and then, yeah, it's pictures of the close air support. Things like that. That, uh, picture of a rocket attack from a typhoon, I would have said. Yeah, it's a typhoon, as you can see the other one there. Uh, and then here's just some of the destruction caused by Allied artillery and planes and rockets and such in the place pocket. And there's just some film playing, which I will get to hopefully on the channel at some point. Uh, so this is kind of the different stuff they have one section. So thanks for uh, putting up with the test. I don't know how well this went. Uh, check it later. If it sucks, I'll just get rid of it. Not a big deal. So thanks for watching it.